In the last four years, 390 anti-trans bills have been proposed. Of those, 286 were proposed in 2021 to 2022, and 39 total were passed. The number of anti-trans bills have skyrocketed in the last few years and will most likely continue to rise as Republicans fight to prevent trans youth from accessing their already limited options for gender-affirming health care. Republicans claim that gender-affirming health care, such as puberty blockers, ruin children's lives. But in order for children to receive such health care, they must be at least 16 and have handwritten notes from two licensed therapists, as well as needing parental permission, which many trans children are unable to provide. This leads to trans youth feeling uncomfortable in their own bodies, which in turn leads to depression and suicidal thoughts. However, there are ways you can help in the fight for trans rights. There are many nonprofits supporting trans rights you can donate to, such as the Trevor Project and the Human Rights Campaign. And if you want to actively support the trans community, there will probably be local rallies you can go to.